What's up everybody, Isamu Sushi here, and you can see I've got my uh, Wi-Fi dev board generic with the GPS chip installed, all mounted to my board. So what I gotta do is, I'm, I already did it to test, but I'll show you how I do it. So basically you're gonna go into apps, GPIO, and then you're gonna go to uh, ESP, and go down to, till you find ESP Flasher. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into boot mode. So you gotta hold down the boot, press the reset, and let go of the boot. And then this should be in boot mode. If you're plugging it in, you've gotta hold the boot mode when you plug it in. All right, and then we're gonna hit quick flash, Wi-Fi dev board, Marauder has evil portal, and there you go, flashing. Now at some point it's gonna say error SD card not supported or found. Uh, don't worry about it. It's going to say that no matter what because we don't have an SD card unless you do have an SD card slot and one installed That's going to say that every time But it's just going to save it to your flipper zero SD card. So you don't need to worry about that. So Okay, there I felt the little vibration Let's see SD card failed to mount SD card SD card not supported and boom. There we go. We're done so this thing has the firmware has been flashed and changed over and I am currently running uh, Momentum firmware if you see here I can uh, Change to the momentum logo interface graphics Default and I can change that to momentum and when I go back Reloading applying blah 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 there you can see the momentum logos and whatnot Anyway, let's go test this thing out. Now, um, I hope uh, some people get a kick out of this, but I, I'm not sure um, how to uh, blur this out properly. So what I, I got to do is my super sophisticated scotch tape. Voila. Okay, so ESP Wi-Fi Marauder. I'm going to go in here. Oh, and then let me clear a uh, clear list in case there's anything there. Oh, no, no access points. Oh, that's right. I just uh, reflashed the firmware. So let's see. You can go right there. Scan access points. Um, list access points. Select an access point. Attack access point. War drive. So let's see. Let's just go up to here and make sure. That, let's see if this Wi-Fi scan access points. Okay, so... Let's see if that works. No, I don't know. Can we still read that? Um, hmm. I don't know if this is going to work. I do. Two. Uh, start scan. Okay, so there she goes. She's lit up. She is scanning. There you go. Information SD. Um, um, SSIDs are popping up all over for all the access points. There you can see my GPS has got power. It's running properly. No problems there. Perfect. Okay, so let's go out. So then you see you can go back down to here to list. List all the access points. Then you can uh, see which one you need to select. You can select a specific one. And then you could attack that specific access point if you wanted. Um, but what I was going to do is come down here to uh, War Drive Access Points. And uh, let's get this blur back on there. And let's see what happens. Okay, starting War Drive Scan. And boom, we have got all sorts of coordinate GPS locations popping up on screen as it scans. And it's scanning down the list. Hopefully nobody can see any of the detailed information, but it's basically scanning and assigning GPS coordinates to every access point it can find. Um, anyway, that's my war driving uh, final video. Uh, once again, um, this thing, it's really cool. It makes it seem like a video game, but this stuff could all be done by previous devices that were already out there. So, um, you know, you got to ban everything if you're going to ban this device. And that's why they have restricted it, not banned it, in my opinion. Um, I'm no expert on the matter. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful. Like, subscribe, share. I love you all. Peace.